about football kind of makes me uh, want some football weather and hey look at that we have it we have cold temperatures and we've had snow here in Metro Detroit today. Seven first alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel is keeping an eye on no snow here in Ann Arbor Hallie, but we have these snow showers. We've seen them uh, throughout the morning. We do, and maybe Mother Nature did grant you that wish, Keenan, and say, here you go. Here's football weather versus baseball weather. Either way, it's cold out there, and we're dealing with either snow showers, maybe a mixed shower as temperatures rise into the low to mid-40s this afternoon. Either way, you cut it, though, it is cold. Freeze warning kicks in at midnight tonight all across Metro Detroit. That brisk wind keeps going. It's going to be chilly even tomorrow, and then we'll be timing out some shower activity on Mother's Day Sunday. 40 degrees in Ann Arbor, also downtown, 44 in Monroe, Adrian, and still some upper 30s out there. Pontiac and Port Huron coming in in the upper 30s, in fact. Look at the temperature change from yesterday, about 20 to 25 degrees colder. Windsor, you're as cold as 27 degrees. That's how much you've dropped since this time yesterday. Unbelievable. All right, looking at the cloud cover around, these mixed rain snow showers in many cases coming down as light snow or flurries from Mount Clemens, St. Clair Shores to Gross Points, even affecting the downtown area, Wyandotte to Flat Rock. You move a little bit back to the west, for example, Ann Arbor, like we saw, dry for now, up toward Pontiac, you're dry for now. Scattered activity, so it's not real widespread going into the afternoon, but we do have it around. Wanted to show you what is widespread, these freeze warnings covering, just blanketing the area from parts of Iowa all the way into Wisconsin, all the way down into northern Georgia, in fact, and then east through Pennsylvania. So really a big part of the Great Lakes and areas to the south being affected by this cold spell. Right now we have north to northwest. Five in Pontiac, 30 in Jackson. That's where you get that brisk wind and your feels like temperature. Your wind chills will remain in the 30s through the rest of the afternoon. And because of those strong winds, Sanilac and St. Clair counties under that Lakeshore flood advisory until 4 a.m. Starting to time things out, you can see the scattered. Again, it's scattered, so I do want to stress that. These showers come and go as we go through the afternoon into the evening hours. Tonight looks fairly quiet, and Saturday as well. It's just going to be kind of cold tomorrow, but we should see some sunshine, which will be nice. And then we switch gears and talk about rain for Mother's Day on Sunday. The timeline looks to be after 2 p.m. into the evening hours. So if you do have a backyard cookout, for your family plan for Mother's Day. Yeah, you may watch that timeline because it does look quite wet by the afternoon and evening on Sunday. So temperatures today, we stay in the 40s, our wind chills in the 30s. If we get to 29, we will tie the record low set back, set back in 1983. And then temperatures only in the upper 40s on Saturday, Mother's Day, again. We're back into the 60s. We're hoping to push 70 by next weekend. Fingers crossed.